Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. Beautiful people, are you ready to transform your skin and feel fabulous? Let me introduce you to our miracle in a jar, this amazing firming cream. This scientifically proven formula smooths the appearance of fat and cellulite, giving you firmer, more toned skin. And guess what? You can use it anywhere from the neck down. Most people start seeing incredible results in just one to two weeks. Imagine that, just two weeks to a more confident you. It's so easy to use. Just apply it every day like your favorite lotion. For best results, use it twice a day. It's just that simple. So why wait? Get your glow on and feel amazing in your skin. Click the link below and grab your jar today and start your journey to firmer, smoother skin. Your skin deserves the best. Pamper it with our amazing firming cream. Order now. Everybody stop! Kids watching! Let me give you three reasons why you should get surgery right here at New Life Plastic Surgery. Keep watching! Number one, they got finance plans. Okay? Keep watching! Number two, is they have the best surgeons out. Keep watching! And number three, they got the best results, baby. Keep watching! This is the year to get your dream body. And if you want to get the body of your dreams, click the link below. Champagne gang, fizz fam, confidants. <laughs> Welcome in for a quick little sip, savor, and spill. Get ready to sip on the drama, savor the excitement, and spill the secrets <laughs> on all things celebrity, reality TV, and social media. Over here, we don't just gossip. We gain life lessons from their mishaps. So grab your glass, pop some bubbles, and let's get scandalous. So are y'all glasses filled to the rim? We'll raise them high for a quick boost of encouragement. <laughs> Cheers to you not looking like what you've been through. Cheers to what didn't happen. Cheers to you, Confidant, for you are worth it. <laughs> Fabulous fam. Today's dish is served hot with Suki and her good coochie, advertising New Life Cosmetics Plastic Surgery. And let me spill a little tea real quick because I told y'all after Roly got her free surgery, baby, everybody is flocking to somebody's clinic for an endorsement like it's a Black Friday sale. But go ahead. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep running to these places to get chopped and screwed, filleted like a fish, just to walk around looking like y'all got two Oompa Loompas in the ass. Go ahead. Because I don't know why y'all are rushing to get sliced and diced, ending up looking like a walking Picasso. It's going to be a horror story on parade of botch broads trying to fix their fix-ups. It is. Some of y'all gonna walk out with one boob playing peekaboo. One boob gonna be bigger than the other. The knots and lumps playing strikeout bowling with your organs because of all the hard and fluid. Just playing plinko with your insides, knocking everything out of commission. It can. But see, y'all don't think about the damage you do to your insides when you do this stuff. <laughs> you don't. And what's worse is surgeons swear it's all safe. That's a bunch of male bovine feces. How? How? Because how can you trust someone wielding a needle that looks like a weapon crafted by Hattori Hanzo himself? That thing looks like Arya Sword from the Game of Thrones that she fought the Night King with. Please. And you want to tell me it's safe? Safe is jumping your ass on the treadmill. That's safe. Safe is crunches and sit-ups and planks. That's safe. But hey, if you want to feel like your soul got sucked out of you and reinserted, be my guest. <laughs> but you on your own, baby. Bye. But see, here's the biggest issue, right? Because they don't want to tell people that their results aren't guaranteed. I keep saying it over and over and over. No, because there's no money in that. 
You don't want to tell them the extensive amount of healing the body is going to have to go through since it just went through a medieval joust. You don't want to tell them the mental anguish they'll go through not really being able to see their results for almost a year or the fact that to truly get the results that they want, they may have to undergo another surgery. Nah, you don't want to tell them that, right? Because they may reconsider. There's no money in you knowing don't spend all of your money, baby, because you may have to come back in three to five years to get everything forklifted back up because it's not natural and the body may view it as an invasion and work overtime to fight it off. But y'all run to get it anyway. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop you. I promise I'm not. I'm going to be waiting here with open arms to welcome you back in and tell you I tried to told you, sugar. I tried to told you. <laughs> Where are the BBW fashion shows at? Where, where are those? Where are the shows for the girls who are in between? You know, the ones who are too small to be considered big, but too big to be considered small. Where, where are those shows at? You know, the shows that normalize cellulite and the Bye Bye Birdie arms. <laughs> where are the shows for the big girls? You know, the butterfly, uh, uh, that's old. Let me see your belly roll. What, where are the shows for the big girls at? We want to normalize all of this plastic surgery and going to get cut up and sliced and filleted and diced and chopped and screwed on the table. What about normalizing being okay with being you? Where are those shows at? All my confidants with a little cushion for your pushing. Drop some champagne glasses in the chat. Let me know that we all in here. <laughs> See, we normalizing being normal over here, baby. <laughs> for real. This, this is our anthem over here. She got a little bit of stomach, but that's okay. <laughs> you still got it, love. Don't you let a little roll hinder you. You better put your hand on your hip and let your backbone slip. <laughs> and did any of y'all even stop to ask the question? Is this fish finished or do I need to flip it in another five to ten? I mean, come on now. I would need to know. I got to know if this is going to be a one and done or if I'm going to have to be a repeat offender because this plastic surgery obsession has to be offensive to the body. It has to be. Got to be. So first it was Roly for goals and we see how that went. Now we have Suki as the face of new life plastic surgery telling y'all come and get your body done. Come get your body done. And some of y'all gonna be running like Wiley e. Coyote after the road runner, baby. Y'all running like Tom trying to catch Jerry. <laughs> some of y'all running like Baby D trying to catch Day Day on Friday. Stop playing now. Y'all ain't gonna listen. And what's crazy is that her body isn't even all that cute. Her titties look like they hurt to touch. They look like if you squeeze too hard, they gonna pop. Her stomach looked like somebody tried to pop it with a pencil or a pen to deflate it. Just a hole in the middle like invasion of the navel snatchers. Her hips look detachable like you can just grab one leg and pop it off. D don't y'all act like y'all didn't used to pop the legs off Barbie. Don't y'all act like it. <laughs> Stop. Her ass look like two big ass hard ass water balloons sitting on her back. Y'all, this is what this trend reminds me of, right? So back in the day, we used to have water beds, right? Baby, I miss my water bed. I do, I do, I do, I do. But if you didn't want a water bed that had like a lot of motion because of the water and the waves, you could get what was known as a waveless mattress. That's the one I had. With a waveless mattress, it only really moved when you get in it and when you get out of it. And then it would stop. Y'all asses don't move with these BBLs unless you popping it, twerking it, or flipping it. But just walking, they don't move. Just look like two hard ass watermelons sitting on your back. Her clothes tight, making her a consistent candidate for an annual yeast infection. Suki don't wear coochie cutters, she wears cervix splitters. <laughs> and before anyone gets in my comments, I'm not saying she's not cute, dumb, dumb ditty. I'm saying her paid for look isn't cute. None of them are. None of it looks natural. In a minute, we're all gonna look like invasion of the ants. Just big titties, big ass, no stomach, and no damn brain. And we're sitting around like seals in a damn circus, applauding and admiring Roly and saying how nice her surgery turned out. And we forgetting the girl had about four damn BBLs, several liposuctions, and I believe a tummy tuck and probably a host of other damn surgeries in order to get the results that she has now. So it wasn't a one and done. Secret spill. The fact of the matter is this. These places are not created to protect you. They're created to profit off your insecurities. 
They don't care about the aftermath because if they did, they would be including post-op consultation and follow-up for the amount of time it takes for you to heal. If you are struggling mentally because of your results not exactly being what you wanted them to be, they would include three appointments with mental health advisors included to be used during that healing period. They're not telling you to love yourself. No, there's no money in that. They're telling you the way to love yourself is to change yourself. They're telling you, you can love yourself too with a body like Suki. And we just eat it up. We eat it up. Not understanding that self-love is internal and no amount of external alterations will fix an internal void. If it did, Roly wouldn't still be walking around talking about she's struggling with depression. Her body would have been able to fix that, right? We are trying to stunt for people who don't give a damn about our existence after we leave out their presence. And a lot of time, we try to find our value in men because we feel like if they want us, we must be worth something. Well, a can of soda was once worth something until it was empty. A meal was worth something until you devoured it. There was a time when a woman's body was considered a temple. The box was cherished, baby. Not something everybody got to sample and they definitely couldn't take it for a dip because you got to show me that you can handle something as valuable as this before I let you inside. It was once known to start wars and rumors of wars, baby. There was once a time when women were put on a pedestal. Now we're just being put on display like an assembly line full of broken damn dogs, mentally broken, emotionally broken, physically broken, just damn broken. And I can't say financially broken because some of y'all are being bust open like a bag of stale popcorn at the damn circus. Back in the day, women were placed on pedestals. Know your value, know your worth, appreciate yourself, chase your dreams. Stop chasing the weak ambitions of this world. Think bigger, stop chasing the top when the sky is limitless. I promise y'all, I'm putting together a 30-day challenge for all of those who want to participate so that we can start developing the courage to change the things we can. Start getting these bodies in shape. <laughs> You'll be amazed at how much clearer your mind is when you had a good workout. And for those of you who have a hard time waking up in the morning and shaking that groggy feeling, I have a video called Command Your Morning, and it will help you wake up and start your day full of energy, positivity, and affirmation. So check it out. Until next time, my love, always remember, just because a narrative was created doesn't mean you can't change it. So change the narrative. Until next time, stay fabulous, stay fierce, and stay true.